know that it can happen to you and know what to look for. Wow, to think pink for me means to think outside of what you're already doing. Um, think pink, this educational thing means for me to get out in the community and share with everyone about the educational possibilities that Coleman offers. I think it means always having in the back of your mind that you have to take care of yourself. My mom is a breast cancer survivor, so I've been thinking pink for about 20 years now. Think Pink is about having self-awareness of your body and making sure that you're performing as a, as a woman, you're performing examinations, and even as a man, that you're checking for any lumps or any sort of irregularities in your body and using that consciousness to uh, make sure that you're aware of yourself and helping to raise awareness towards others and prevent breast cancer and also to help us find a cure. To me, it means to be extremely educated on what breast cancer is, doing your monthly checks to make sure that you are aware and that you can educate other people at the same time. Um, what it means to think pink is to be aware of breast cancer and become an active part of uh, searching for the cure. I think think pink means awareness, just to always have it in your mind constantly. I was going to say to, cele to celebrate the fact that everybody is learning about it and yeah. the knowledge that, that we're going to get, I guess, from something like this. So. so Think Pink is a constant state of awareness that you need to educate yourself about breast cancer and that you can detect it early on and treat it. To Think Pink means to think about women's health, to think about being aware of what's going on with your body, your sisters out there to think about other family members and help educate them about breast awareness. You can see it in my eyes, I'm letting life slip right on by. But every moment I disregard keeps taking its sweet time. Pins and needles, my set goals, a restless heart. Struggling soul can't remember the past now. Tell me what the future holds. I've let myself down so many times. I'll keep this dream alive. Fall asleep tonight. Can you let the wild? Knowing that I tried, I just can't forget. One in eight women be diagnosed with breast cancer. And I will say that Dr. Doe is very refreshing, easy to listen to. Um, I learned a lot about, you, I mean, really young people can get breast cancer and you really have to be proactive in um, knowing your family history. And that's really it, like how young people, you know, breast cancer patients could be. And that really surprised me because I thought maybe the older you get, like maybe 28, 29 would be the youngest, but 19 year old, 21 year olds, that's crazy. And of course, I'm just so encouraged by the many, many breast cancer survivors that they are. I learned actually a lot. Um, the BRAC information was really, really informative. And I can't wait to tell everybody everything I know. <laughs> I learned that women can have breast cancer without ever having a lump in their breasts. By detecting other skin changes and color changes of the breast, um, they can be diagnosed or screened for breast cancer um, when they don't even have a lot.